Hi, and welcome to our kids' service. We're so excited for you to see everything we have for you. But before we do that, I need you to stand up, make some room, because we're gonna jump into some worship. Hey everyone, would you stand and join us in singing, He Has Won. Let's put our hands together. He's the chosen one, he's the champion, the winner for all time. With me to the end, Jesus is my friend, he's always by my side. Hands up! Anything I face, he will be my strength. Hi kids, I'm so glad you're joining me today as we're continuing with our series, Beating Bad News. In this series, we're learning that hearing the bad news can be very overwhelming. But God's word tells us that no matter what happens, we can be encouraged because we know that God is still in control. No matter what, I can trust God because he loves me. He will help me beat bad news. Our big answer is going to get us started today. If you don't know what the big answer is, the big answer is the answer to the big question. The one you should get from the important adult in your life. And that is, what did you learn in kids church today? Our big answer for today is, Jesus is always with us. And our memory verse talks about this and it comes from the book of Psalm. They do not fear bad news. They confidently trust the Lord to care for them. Psalm 112, verse 7. Have you ever noticed how small toilet paper squares are? Honestly, has ever, anyone ever used just one square? These little squares just aren't meant to be alone, are they? Even a booger requires you to use at least two of these. <laughs> Whoa. 
We're a lot like toilet paper square. We're meant to live life together, not alone. We're made for community, but sometimes we feel lonely. That loneliness can strike regardless if we're in isolation or surrounded by others. The good news is we're never really alone. Jesus is always with us. When we feel alone, we can remember Jesus and call out his name. He will be there for us anytime. He's just a prayer away. It's kind of like playing two-player mode on Super Mario. When a player dies, we think they're gone. But then all of a sudden, here they come back, floating right into play. For a very long time now, the world has become it has becoming a lonely place. It started when Apple made it possible for us to go on the internet, email, and text people using little computers that fit in our pockets. The more people purchase these phones, the more they became part of our daily lives, the more isolated we all became. It wasn't uncommon to see whole families sitting at a table in a restaurant in complete silence. No one would say a word to the others because they were all playing on their phones. Then something happened that really split us apart. School was canceled. Eating out, forbidden. Physical contact with other people, forbidden. No hugging, no shaking. Keep six feet apart at all times. Practice social distance. Suddenly, a lonely world became really lonely. We couldn't see our friends at school. We couldn't play with our friends at practice. We couldn't even meet at church with them on Sunday. It was rough, wasn't it? If you were feeling super lonely at home with nowhere to go, you were not alone. Well, you were, but you weren't the only person feeling that way. We all felt lonely at times. We all wondered if we'd ever get to see our friends again. We would have given anything to see a familiar face, to give a hug, to just have a conversation. Elijah certainly felt that way at times. The man who today is considered to be the greatest of Old Testament prophets had some very lonely times. He had no home, no friends, he had few allies, and the king and queen wanted him dead. Elijah was ready to die himself, but God was not through with Elijah. He needed to build Elijah back up, and it started by reminding Elijah he was not alone. In 1 Kings chapter 19, we find Elijah in a cave, alone, wanting to give up when God came to him. He had to go outside, and God showed him a mighty windstorm, the big earthquake, and a fire. But the Bible said God wasn't in those things, but he was in the whisper that came afterwards. It's a great reminder that whenever it feels like we're all alone, and it seems like crazy things are happening all around us, we are not alone. God is with us. Jesus said it best in Matthew 28, verse 20, when he said, I am with you always, even till the very end. I'm sure the days you spend doing e-learning, looking out the windows, wishing you could be anywhere except home were some of the most memorable, lonely moments of your life. I know a lot of us adults felt the same way. We missed our friends. We missed our church family. We probably took all those things for granted before the COVID-19 scare forced us all into isolation. That said, we had some pretty lonely times before COVID-19. You had sick days when you felt pretty lonely. You had times when you were left out of fun things that made you feel lonely. You had days when you felt left out and excluded at school. Loneliness doesn't just bring us down when we're actually alone. It can happen even in the middle of a crowd. So how good is it to know that God has promised to always be with us? It doesn't matter if it's the middle of the school day or the middle of the night. It doesn't matter if you're at a ball game with thousands of people or you're in your room all alone. Jesus is always with you. He'll always be there for you. Whenever you pray, he will be there for you. Like our big answer says, Jesus is always with us. Jesus always wants to be with us, but there's something you have to do first, and that's taking the step to invite him into your heart. Sin is what keeps us separated, and until we say we are sorry for our sins and ask Jesus into our hearts, we aren't part of God's family. I want everyone to bow their heads and close their eyes. And if you're here today and would like to make Jesus your best friend and start following him, would you raise your hand and say this prayer with me? Repeat after me. Dear God, 
I believe you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for me. I'm a sinner and I'm sorry. Jesus, I give you my life. Be my Lord and my very best friend. In your name I pray, amen. We love you and can't wait to see you next week. It's time for Memory Verse Breakdown! Hey kids, today we're gonna break down this week's Memory Verse. Are you ready for it? All right, let's look at it. Okay, here's the Memory Verse. Do you think you could do it? How about you say it out loud? Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna take some words away. Okay, you still think you got it? Try saying it out loud again. Okay, we're gonna bring those words back in. Let's see if you got them right. Did you get them right? Awesome. Well, that's this week's Memory Verse Breakdown. How'd you do? Memory Verse Breakdown! Hey kids, today we're gonna play a game called Chocolate Unicorn. And in this game, you have 60 seconds to get five Oreo cookies on your forehead, and it has to stay up there for 10 seconds. So for this game, all you need is five Oreo cookies, or any kind of cookie, and a steady forehead. Are you ready? All right, we're gonna count down in three, two, one. All right, I got one up, okay. Uh, it's kinda on my hat, I hope it doesn't fall. Okay, I got two. Oh, how are you doing? Uh, I'm a little nervous. All right, I'm going to three. Okay. Uh, oh, it's, it feels shaky. Oh, I should stop talking. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, okay, oh, I got four. I got four. Oh, no, it's not, I, uh, 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 yeah. uh, Okay, I gotta grab some more. Okay, got five again. Okay, I'm gonna do one. Oh, uh, one, okay, I'm going to two. Oh, 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 it kinda slid. Okay, two. All right, go to three. How are you doing? Oh, I think I have more than up there. I need another cookie. Oh, oh, I got one. Okay, all right. Uh, and I'm gonna go, no! Okay, uh, five more again. Okay, oh, I think I'm running out of time. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, man. I couldn't even get it once. How'd you do? Thank you so much for being with us today. Before you leave, have that important adult in your life go to lifechurchgreenbay.com slash kids where you can grab our Kids Connect card. There you can discuss our big answer, memory verse, and even more. We love you so much. Have a great week.